Welcome back to the Alentia Effect, where a strategy meets cybersecurity and we teach you how to play the security game smarter. I'm your host and in today's episode, we are stepping into one of the toughest challenges in SOC leadership, building and retaining a world-class SOC team. This is my third strategy number four and it's where many SOCs struggle the most. Because technology can be bought, processes can be written, but building and keeping the right people, that's the real game. In this episode, we will cover why people are your SOC's greatest weapon, the high turnover trap in SOC's, what Mitra and Sans Blueprint recommend, a real incident that happened because of team gaps, how game theory can help you keep your team strong, and an action plan to help you win. Let's talk about a problem no SIM, EDR or fancy dashboard can solve. The SOC people crisis. SOC turnover rates are some of the highest in cybersecurity. It's an industry secret everyone knows but nobody likes to talk about. Why does this happen? Burnout from endless alert and night shifts, repetitive high stress work, lack of a clear career path, feeling undervalued and unrecognized. Here is the dangerous part. Every time an experienced analyst leaves, they don't just take their badge. They take knowledge, context and experience with them. Your SOC becomes weaker, your detection slower, and your institutional memory starts to fade. The Sans Blueprint podcast says it clearly. Your biggest challenge is not building a SOC. It's keeping good people inside it. Technology without people is useless. People without motivation are dangerous. So... What's the solution? Mitre give us a clear roadmap in strategy number four. It's simple on paper, but hard to execute. Here is the framework. One, recruit for mission, not just skills. You're not hiring keyboard operators. You're hiring defenders, strategists, and learners. Hire people who care about the mission, the mission to protect detect and respond. Develop and invest in your team. If you want your people to stay, they need a reason to grow. Design career paths. Offer continuous learning, training and certifications. Create opportunities for internal promotion. Retain truth culture and recognition. People don't leave jobs. They leave toxic environments. Build a SOC culture where good work is recognized. Collaboration is rewarded. Analysts feel heard and valued. Mitra's message is clear. You can buy technology, but you can't buy loyalty. You have to build it. Let me share a true story that will hit close to home. In 2021, a large retail company suffered an insider attack. Their SOC had world-class tools, detailed procedures, and decent budgets. But something critical was missing. People. On the night the breach happened, their detection system triggered an alert. An insider was attempting to exfiltrate sensitive customer data. But there was only one analyst on the night shift. Why? Three analysts had recently quit, burned out, demotivated, and unseen. That one analyst was overwhelmed. They couldn't trigger fast enough. By the time escalation happened, the insider had already exfiltrated thousands of customers' records. This breach wasn't because of missing technology, it was because of missing people. 
Your SOC can't function without its people, not in theory, not in reality. The Sans Blueprint podcast makes this painfully clear. The success of your SOC is not built on dashboards, it's built on people. They outline three key human mistakes organizations make. No career path. Many SOC analysts feel stuck. They start in their tier one and stay there. No roadmap, no growth, no future. Lack of feedback and recognition. When analysts only hear complaints but never appreciation, motivation dies. No investment in people. Organization invest in shiny tools but forget to invest in their team's skills, well-being, and development. Sans Blueprint emphasized that if you want to build a suitable, mature SOC, you must make your people strategy your first strategy. Because SOC analysts are not machines. They are your human firewall. Now let's apply some game theory. Because building a SOC team is not a one-time decision. It's an ongoing strategy game. Think of it as a repeated game with dynamic payoffs. Every day, your SOC analysts make a simple calculation. Is staying in this team worth it for me? Their payoff isn't just salary. It's recognition, learning opportunities, work-life balance, team culture. If your SOC environment becomes a zero-sum game where analysts feel like they are sacrificing everything but gaining nothing, they will eventually exit the game. But if you design your SOC like a positive-sum game where everyone wins when the team grows, when a skill improves, when good work is recognized, you increase the long-term payoff for everyone. In game theory terms, retention is not about locking people in. It's about making the game so good they don't want to leave. Your job as an associate leader is to design that game. Here is what happens if you don't build and retain a strong SOC team. High turnover rates, slow detection and response, loss of institutional knowledge, low moral and constant firefighting. No tool or technology can compensate for an unstable team. Ask yourself. When was the last time you asked your SOC team how they are doing? Do you have a career path program for analysts? Do you recognize and reward good work? If the answer is no or I don't know, your SOC team may already be looking for a way out. Here is your action plan. Recruit people who believe in the SOC mission. Build clear career development paths. Offer continuous learning and promotion opportunities. Foster a culture of recognition and collaboration. Measure and monitor team well-being and satisfaction. Because a world-class SOC is not built on technology. It's built on people. Your SOC's strength is not measured by how many screens you have or how advanced your technology stack is. It's measured by the people behind those screens, their motivation and their ability to work together. If you found value in this episode, make sure to like, subscribe and share it with your cybersecurity peers. Help us spread this message because the more strategic SOCs we build, the safer the digital world becomes. And remember, stay safe, stay strategic, and until the next episode and the next strategy, keep playing the cybersecurity game smart.
This is the Alentia effect. Stay informed.